So Thank what you. are you going to interview me now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Professor Jack Winslow Lewis. <laughs> you have been on the summer course mm. uh, on English in uh, summer course on English phonetics in English phonetics uh -huh. since nineteen ninety. Uh, so uh, yes, that's true. It's almost twenty years now. Exactly twenty right. years in terms so of twenty courses. Wow. Yeah. Twenty so consecutive courses with uh, no break. Every uh, August for twenty years. That's uh, quite a long time. So, so what do you think of the course? <laughs> I love it. Of <laughs> course, uh, I would do it differently. <laughs> uh, yes. But so would everybody else. Uh, but I like the way they do do it, right. and I I love the teaching. Yes, I, I enjoy yes, having yes. students and putting them through their paces. Yes. Here, here, and doing things, and we all, we always have a lot of fun. You see, right. because in fact, the truth is that. Phonetics, phonetics teaching is laughable, isn't it? It's a, it's a big joke. Yes. You keep on making funny noises mm. or trying to make certain noises and, and making funny things instead. Yes. You know? and so everybody has an amusing time if they, yes. if they approach it in the right way. Yes. So yeah. I've always thought that was a nice thing about phonetics. You, you, can't, be, you can't be really serious about it. Right. My class are always laughing because <laughs> there's always something to laugh at in either what I say or do or what they do and so on. So it's it's good it's good fun, good fun. Yes. And I arrange to have materials. Yes. I always choose my own materials, have them ready, and I have all sorts of funny sentences in it. Yes. See? And what I tell them is I'm trapping them into mistakes. Wow. That's what I, mean. I say now you read that and let's hear it. You mm. know, and they. They innocently think it's going to be easy because it looks simple English words. I never choose long words or difficult words. It looks very simple English words, and when they come to say it, they go boom. You know, <laughs> they get they get it wrong. They make it sound wrong, and and then I explain to them why they're doing it and get them to try it again, and improve it. So well, I think we're all happy that way. I mean, yeah. it's it's a technique. It's a method that that keeps you. Enjoying it, I think, really. Right. You see the funny side of it. Yes. You see, if I trap them into saying something they never meant to say, <laughs> something funny instead of well, something serious they wanted to say, then that amuses everybody. <laughs> yeah. So that's the, that's the sort of yeah. basic method. Right. But uh, yes, it's it's uh, been a, a nice uh, nice life teaching yeah. phonetics. I've been doing it now since 1950. <laughs> about yes, sixty years. About sixty yes. years. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've got plenty of experience. Uh, I may not be one among the best teachers, but I'm certainly one of the most experienced ones you can find. One of the best in the world, of course. Uh, right? one, of the, one of the most experienced, <laughs> longest, yeah. And one of the best-known phoneticians in the world. Oh, well. Uh, better known to a very few people over a very wide area, though. That's, that's <laughs> one thing, yeah. yeah. What always amazes me is the way I get uh, uh, as much reaction to my website to my blogging and so on from Japan say as, as uh, anywhere else you know but but questions and things come in from all over the world don't they South America Japan Africa whatever yeah and that's good fun <laughs> you you've given both um, you know our group lessons and lectures oh yeah, yeah. Right, um, well I prefer giving tu tutorials uh, I prefer having close contact with individuals and I, I make it individuals see, ah. but say I give them I dictate to them and they yes. have to write down and each one separately has to show me what they've written yes. which is supposed to be what I've said ah. and of course they get it wrong and then I read it back to them and say that's not what I said what you've written you wrote this and I said that mm -hmm. and so they hear them side by side this is good a good teaching technique I think but people uh, can hear one after the other the right thing and the wrong thing so they can learn to compare them well. So mm. that's, that's one of the nice things about teaching. Lecturing I'm not so fond of because you know if you, the more people you've got in a lecture hall the more people you're boring really. <laughs> but uh, if you've got a lecture for uh, 120 people and so on they can't all follow happily everything you want to say and you don't want to make it too simple you don't want to make it too difficult. So you end up by not, never satisfying everybody ah. in a lecture. But you can feel that you've satisfied everybody. Mm -hmm. If you've got, say, eight or ten pupils and you've made each one of them do something yes. and, and uh, learn something. Yeah. So I like tutorials best. Ah. 